Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. In today's video we are checking out a very interesting device, it's the Absolute Handheld. It's a device primarily aimed at people who want to stream their PC or console onto the handheld itself, however it comes with Android OS and Google Play Store pre-installed, so you can download native Android games and emulators as well should you want that. And in this brief video I thought we would test some streaming services and highlight some of the features of this device, and in the end I'll simply let you know whether I think it's worth your money or not. Sounds like a good idea? Well, let's jump into it. Starting off with the unboxing, this device was sent to me for free to review, so this is the review unit and it came in this minimalist brown paper box. It has barely any information on it, but on the side we can see a list of the contents. And upon opening the box we can see that the handle chips inside a case which is always a big plus and something I like to see included with other handles as well. But if we put it to the side for just a few seconds we can also see that we get the regular quick start guide in both Chinese and English and a USB-A to USB-C charging cable. The case is sturdy and nicely crafted, I think it can actually take a few punches, and above all it will of course protect your handle from scratches and other damages while in a bag. Moving on to the handle itself, it's remarkably slim and lightweight when considering its overall size. The construction is of high quality, providing a solid feel in every aspect. It exudes a premium aura, lacking the cheap plastic often found in some other handle devices. Speaking of other devices, although none of them feature cheap plastic, let's compare it to a few. While many people seems it bears a resemblance to the Logitech G Cloud, upon closer inspection side by side, I'm not entirely convinced they are so similar. I mean yes, they have the same button layout, and while the G Cloud has jello details, the Absolute has a blue joystick cap, but other than that I think they have some unique features of their own. For instance, the joysticks are smaller on the Absolute and they're convex, while there are bigger concave ones on the G Cloud. The D-pad is also different designs, and here I prefer the slightly stiffer one on the Absolute, even though I like the one on the G Cloud as well. Comfortability is another thing that sets them apart, I think I prefer the bulkier grips on the G Cloud, at least to hold on to and play for longer sessions on it, but the Absolute has trimmed the weight thanks to being a bit slimmer and overall less bulky, which is an advantage as well. The shoulder buttons and triggers are hard to pick a winner among though, because they are so similar. The Absolute has a tiny bit more travel, while the G Cloud has a bit more texture to them, so you be the judge. But now it's time to see if the Absolute really is lighter, or if it's just an illusion. And as we can see here it weighs about 435 grams. The Logitech G Cloud on the other hand weighs slightly more at 465 grams. It's of course not much compared to my Steam Deck OLED which weighs in at about 635 grams. Maybe they're not exactly the same league but it's still fun to compare it to the Lenovo Legion Go which weighs twice as much at 854 grams. Now let's take a look at the hardware. The D-pad is big and soft but not squishy as some larger D-pads can be. Both the joystick and the analog sticks are hall sensor equipped meaning you won't experience any weird drifting. My only complaint when it comes to the hardware design is that the speakers are front facing instead of pointing downwards. This means it's easy to accidentally cover them with your hands while playing. Apart from the shoulder buttons and the triggers, the only thing on the top is the volume buttons and the power on button. And below the handle we have a USB-C for charging, a headphone jack and a micro SD slot. The back has the logo on it and some texture around the grips. Overall a very clean looking handheld. But with that out of the way, now it's time to test some of the streaming services, starting with PS Play for PlayStation, which is pre-installed on arrival. You will need to link your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 before you can play, but it's easy and you get the instructions how you do it on the screen itself. Okay, let me know when you find him. 
Streaming PC games over Steam Link is an even better experience than streaming PlayStation 5 games in my opinion. Even though the games ran really great over PS Play, I always end up feeling like the games have to buffer some before they run smoothly. Over Steam Link however, the games ran perfect straight out of the box. Native Android games is amazing to play on the large beautiful screen. Games like StumbleGuys work like a charm with built-in controllers, no need to key map anything. And before wrapping this one up, I want to talk about the price. The Absolute Handheld can be bought from their site and it comes in a 32GB version and a 64GB version. The 64GB version is only $10 more however, so I'd recommend that you get that if interested. It will let you install a few extra apps and emulators onto the internal storage. They also currently have a Valentine special which will reduce the price under $200. And if you for some reason need two consoles, they are sold in a bundle and with discounts you will end up paying $368 for both or $184 each. Which is nice if you have kids who wants to share the fun. And that's it for my review and showcase of the Absolute Handheld. This device is a quite cheap streaming handheld that will cost you less than a PlayStation Portal, but will also let you stream your PC games, Xbox games, and also let you install emulators to play your old retro games up to and including Nintendo 64 and PlayStation 1. If you end up paying less than $200 for this device and like to stream games at your house, I can highly recommend this product. However, if you want to play more demanding Android games like Warzone Mobile or Diablo Immortal and maybe even emulate games like 3DS and GameCube, well, then this device is not for you. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this device and also please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to Tech Cravers for more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, happy gaming everyone!